Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Skyrim's Special Edition. My name is Camel and this video is going to be a guide in which I will show you how to acquire the unique spell, Summon Arvac. A purple, ethereal, ephemeral, flaming undead horse. Now this Summon Arvac spell is incredibly useful for just about any build. But no one mounts this baby like Fudge Muppet's newest remastered build, The Bone Lord. I couldn't more highly recommend you subscribe to Michael and Scott's channel over at Fudge Muppet for premium Elder Scrolls content, including weekly builds, the newest of which is this Bone Lord. Ready to mount anything, but his favourite is the undead horse, Arvac. Link to their channel will be in the description. And if you are following this guide on the standard Skyrim, you will need the Dawnguard expansion installed to get this spell. Also, if you wish to skip getting to the Soul Can, or you wish to skip the acquisition of the spell, both timestamps can be found in the description. Firstly, entering the Soul Can. About one to two hours into the Dawnguard expansion quests, we'll rescue the Moth Priest, Dexian Evicus, during the quest Prophet. After doing so, we will be given the quest Chasing Echoes. Once on this quest, head to Castle Volkiar and just follow the quest marker. If you thought you had skeletons in your closet, this place has got your beat. Come prepared to shatter plenty of bones. When we get into the castle courtyard, we'll need to find the three dial plates. One can be found in the pond on the northwestern side of the courtyard, the other two can be found on the eastern side. One is up on the balcony and the other is hidden on the ground amongst the garden flowers. Once you have all three, put them back into the dial. This will open the secret stairs, of course, head down there. A fair way through towards the top of the tower, we will enter a room filled with gargoyles. What you'll need to do is turn the left candle next to the fireplace to open the secret door and continue on. Next, we will be entering the portal room. Firstly, we'll need to find Serana's mother's journal. This can be found on the bookcase on the western side of the room. Next, we'll have to find three ingredients. Firstly, on this table of bones, again on the western side of the room, we'll find the finely ground bone meal. Grab it. Secondly, up on the second floor, on the bookcase covered in salts, we'll find the purified void salts. Grab that puppy. And finally, on the middle stair landing, we'll find a bowl of soul gem shards. Grab that. Once we have all three ingredients, talk to Serana and she'll add her blood, complete the ritual, and voila, we have opened a portal to the soul can. There is, however, one more step we have to take before entering. To enter, you'll either have to be a vampire, become a vampire, or have your soul partially trapped. Of course, if you're a vampire or want to become a vampire, no problem there. Just tell Serana and she'll do it for you. But if you want to stay human, just take the option to have your soul partially trapped. Personally, I didn't notice a difference, apparently it's meant to weaken you slightly throughout the quest. Once you choose one of those two options, head into the soul can. You've earned it. So now we're in, we want to follow the path east, and in about 30 seconds of following the path, we'll run into a soul yelling out, Arvac! Arvac! Speak to him, and he'll give us the quest to find Arvac's skull. Now, unfortunately, this quest does not have quest markers, and the soul can also doesn't have a map. It has a local map, but that's useless. Luckily, I found this map which as we can see via the arrow I added, from the portal we came through, we want to head all the way northeast. Here, we can find Arvac's skull. East of where we find Veronica, we will find this roofed arched structure, in the center of which is a pedestal with Arvac's skull on it. Kill the ghosts and grab that skull. As soon as we do, the ghost will appear, thank us for finding Arvac's skull, then teach us the spell Summon Arvac. So now we know how to cast a spell, let's take a look at it. Summon Arvac. Its school is of course Conjuration, it is only an apprentice level spell. Its base casting cost is 136 Magicka, its charge time is a measly 0.5 seconds, it has a range of 24 feet, which with perks can be taken up to 48 feet, the tome value is not applicable as there is no tome, and the effect, summon Arvac in the wilderness to act as your steed. Now this spell, summon Arvac, is a must have for everyone. If Arvac dies, the Dragonborn can simply resummon him, allowing them to not worry about their horse dying. And despite being summoned for 60 seconds, Arvac will remain present as long as the Dragonborn remains mounted on him. Also, although appearing undead, Arvac is still labelled as an animal and cannot be affected by undead related spells. He is also tagged under the faction Spriggan Prey although I suspect all animals are. He can prove extremely useful if over-encumbered, simply summon him and away you go. He can be used to level offensive combat skills, summon him, kill him, summon him, kill him, all the way to 100. Arvac can also be used as a cushion for you to survive jumping from deadly heights. 
Summon Arvac, mount him, jump off a cliff, the fall will kill Arvac and you'll be fine. Then simply resummon him, happy days. He can also be summoned in the Soul Can, in Blackreach, and also on Solstheim, while other horses cannot be brought to these locations. Unfortunately, for unknown reasons, he cannot be summoned or used in the Forgotten Vale. But all in all, I think you'll agree, this spell is a must-have. Arvac is no one-trick pony, and with him by your side, you'll be able to steer up all kinds of trouble. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. I've been Camel, and this has been my guide for the unique spell Summon Arvac, blessing us with the ability to summon a purple flaming horse, a brony's favorite spell. Again, be sure to check out Arvac in action underneath Fudge Muppet's newest Bone Lord build. A link can be found in the description. If you did find this video helpful, please consider subscribing. And if you do, be sure to click the bell icon next to the subscribe button to turn on notifications. As YouTube really flipped that switch off, you can also click on the playlist button on screen. This of course will take you directly to my Skyrim Special Edition Guides playlist where you can select the videos that you wish to watch freely. Individual links can also be found in the description. If you wish to become a Palomino, be sure to follow me on Twitter, the link can also be found in the description, or you can search Camelworks on Twitter. And with that said, I would like to thank you very much for watching, it's been an absolute pleasure having you here with me, and I will see you very shortly in the next video. I'll see you there soon.